today, Precarious Plays... Samurai Legend Musashi. <sighs> Still plodding on through this area? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Are you sure we've been up here before? No, this is new. Oh, okay. Well, at least that. I mean... It's kind of new. These are the same steam vents and... Yeah, but I bet you didn't see enemies. this at home. <laughs> Aww, it's cute and shy. You can tell because it was twisting back and forth. Fiore. Fiore. My name is Fiore. I'm tinier. That needs to be tinier. My name is Fiore. Here you go. Your name is Stinky Buttface. <laughs> okay, some magic alloy. What does that bring my, my magic alloy count up to? Oh, Delicious. Oops, level up. <sighs> Let me decide in my own. Hey man, that cat strength. has your beard. I mean, the what? cat... Well, he's, he's gone now, I think. How yeah. I, is there a way to bring him up? Maybe he's in the, the hint screen? <sighs> Fail. Yes, please. Bail. Bail. That cat has your hair, but on his chin. Oh, I see. Yes, I see and I agree with that because Bail put it up on the screen and I'm trusting you because you're my friend and I know you wouldn't lie to me about I mean, it's not stuff. exact, but it is definitely that sort of triangle fish shape thing. Fish shape? Maybe it's not a fish shape. Anyways, the point is that it has he you, has wait. he has fancy. Wait. Do you think wait. do you think that's why the intro like the 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 anime intro has like the surfer music because he has he has like fish hair? Mm, that's a pretty weak it's connection, fish, but fish. I'll give it to them if it's true. <laughs> So let's let's I talk about what Musashi means. Hmm. Fail? You fishy? Nah, that would be too simple. I don't believe it. Aha, I learned in the last hallway. Yes, you did. That they are not afraid to charge through their exploding friends. Phew. Sometimes I just use the special abilities because I'm bored. <laughs> Well, but I think that that's a fine reason to use the special abilities. It would be better if they were if Like, they actually were good, yeah. yeah. But still, I mean, see? There it is. Ah, uh, okay, I see. I mean, not like you didn't see before, but there it is again. Right. 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 More strength so I can get through this game more quickly. <laughs> so... Let's stop talking about how the game compares to other games, because I think the answer is not super favorably. Mm -hmm. Just because I think it, ultimately, it, it just leaned really heavily on its visuals and doesn't have enough. What is that? <sighs> Nightmarish clown ninja. It's a killer bee. Oh, you, you taking a cue? You learned. Infernal strike. I thought that said stick for a second. Explosion of a cosmic power. Let's see it. Well, I, uh, I, it, this menu doesn't pause the game. Oh, I see. Uh, <sighs> that's it. It just goes blah. Well, we haven't touched anybody with it yet. Maybe you go bra and they go wabush de bomba. It would have to make them like swell to a massive size, and then uh, it's got a really long wind up. But I think that the damage seems to be higher than that of Angry Hornet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's like it's the same cost, but it deals about fifty percent more damage. But it does have a really long wind-up, mm -hmm. and I don't think it has the same duration, which right. effectively... Duration on moves like that in a game like this sort of weirdly like winds up 
effectively tying into like its area of effect. Mm -hmm. Because since the enemies aren't very smart and they're prone to just wandering into your special attacks, it is in many ways as good as having an increased area of effect. Mm -hmm. Because enemies do not seem to be deterred by your, your special attacks um, area of effect, you know? Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to stay with my my uh, hornet hornet thrust. Mm -hmm. Hornet thrust? Angry hornet. Angry hornet. What? God, I really don't like those guys. They're really weird. <laughs> They're bouncy. I like it. I don't like them. They're too much clown. The bounciness is kind of cute, but the colors and the stripes are very off-putting. Like, it looks like he's got safety belts around his belly button to keep it from popping off and running loose. You see how his shirt's all stretchy? Did you yeah, see that? I saw. Okay. Are you back to that same room? No, this is, this uh, this is different. Mine, yeah. Yes. This place is, I think, more visually interesting. I'm glad that we didn't, they didn't make us backtrack through more than a, more than a few rooms. This actually feels much more reasonable. Yeah. I thought than we were I, than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, especially when you thought you were going to have to go through the same door again and everything. I, I thought that they were going to lead us down to the, um, I thought that they were ultimately were trying to get a second use out of the, um, hover, hover bike. Hovercraft, like mini game. Right. That's what I thought the the goal was gonna be here. Um, so I wanna I wanna start trying to think about what what would have made this game better, and this might be. A, this is gonna be I think. Oh. Oh. I didn't actually expect that. To, I mean, like I saw it on the map, but I thought that maybe I was gonna have to like press a button and mm -hmm. come back later. Yeah. Oh, see, that was nice. Yeah. Okay. So what um. What would have made this game better? Hmm. Hmm. Better. Just, just better. More satisfying to play. What would have? Well, it's hard for me to say because I'm not the one playing it, right? But. Just, I mean, just. So. What do you think? This is a test. This is a test now. Before I was just trying Let's to make conversation. Let's start with the crates. I was, yeah. But, Let's start there. That's easy. Yeah. So this is this is now this is now a test to see how you how you've uh, how you're developing as a video gamer because I need to know if you can if you can take a game that isn't super great and then start thinking about what it would make it great it would make it better. So yeah, let's start. Let's start with that. So what about those crates? Well, it takes too long to do a simple. Like the crates should have been treated more like enemies that just sit in the environment and you slice them open the same way you do the enemies. They just don't fight by. Ooh, you know what? Like that would be much easier. You know, and you know what's especially funny? Now that you mention it, I don't see any reason why they couldn't have just rigged them up. Exactly like an enemy. Well, yeah, because enemies drop the same shit that crates do, right? I don't know if I I haven't noticed an enemy drop an item. Yeah. Yeah, but there's absolutely no reason why they couldn't have just made the um, made the crates. Do you think it might be because they had too many things on? They wanted to have more enemies on screen, and it was easier to process that as a cutscene. I don't think so. I, I think if anything. Maybe the concern was that uh, sometimes there are some important unique items in crates, mm -hmm. and maybe you don't want to have. No, no, there's no, there's no good explanation because the items are all very. Musashi is incredibly magnetic. Mm -hmm. Shit just flies to him mm -hmm. from the environment, just everywhere in the environment. So there doesn't seem to be any great reason why what I'm about to do couldn't have just happened in the game environment. Because, I mean, like, maybe there's that concern that you knock something out of a box and then it, like, falls through the environment. Yeah, but and that, it's, like, a really important thing. That does not seem like the type of thing that should hold a company like Square Enix back. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these both terminate pretty, pretty shortly, so I'll just go through this one first. 
Well, and you've so far been complaining about, like, there's no good reason to use the special attacks. So I guess making the special attacks more necessary. You know... How they could have done that? I'm not completely sure. Well, let me give you my thinking on the matter. First off, I think that they should have made the MP meter recharge pretty rapidly. Mm hmm All on its own. And then it should have been exhausted pretty rapidly as well. Mm hmm So more similar to how, like, the stamina meter works in, like, a Souls game. And then maybe for larger attacks. Like, I think it probably would have helped if... This is... This is starting to probably get a little too... Too crazy. Like, mm -hmm. this is probably too much wishful thinking. Yeah. But I think it probably would have been for the best if... All of your special abilities ran on MP. Like, mm -hmm. on the, the red meter. Mm -hmm. Even Even if it was just like it is right now. And then all of your sword abilities ran on something else. Maybe even something independent from one another. Uh-huh. Um, because, for example, I feel like the Sword of Tremors ability is so cheap that you would be hard-pressed to not be able to just use it. So I feel like maybe the Sword of Tremors should have just been something that you... that you could have could just use, you know, like as an attack. But I'll I'll do a bit of thinking and we'll we'll come back to that in a little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny little baby bit. A little, little itsy bitsy. Itsy bitsy oodly oodly boodly. 